All right, guys. Welcome back to another Wasteland 3 video. I believe this is part five. Now, end of the last video was pretty crazy. I went against the recommendation or pretty much kind of the orders of what uh, Sheriff uh, Daisy wanted me to do. But what I did here... Baron Brigo, I ended up signing with him. He uh, sent some guys over to my headquarters to run my armory and to stock it. I kind of fell for his little... He kind of suave me into it. But anyhow, the marshals showed up. And also, in the beginning of the game, everyone has been kind of talking bad about the marshals. They seem like they uh, don't really do anything. So when they showed up, I fought them. I took them out. And she was pissed. So I lost negative 15 reputation on her. But anyways... That's a big decision. Um, I thought about going back and replaying it and just uh, maybe doing it the other way. But you know what? I'm going to stick with it and we're going to see what happens. So we got some upgrades here for uh, Lucia. Let's get these taken care of real quick. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll do that. And more coordination. All right, guys, I remembered uh, when we were here the last time Would when we first showed up. There was a uh, right here. Now, we need to on, pick the store. Question, we were not level right four last time. You've gone faster and Actually, let's get that. Beautiful, I'll take it. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Grenade, I'll take it. Smoked. Gonna have some more critical hit chance. Don't bullshit me this time, Dorsey. How'd you get into the city? What is this? Deputy Marshal Pitts, the young guard's face is nervous but determined. He steps forward as you approach, holding his hands up. Uh-oh, these are the marshals. By order of the Patriarch, only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. My uncle, Gideon Reyes, wants to speak to the Rangers. Oh, of course, Miss Wesson. Open it up, fellas! This is new. The gate opens for you. Let's see what we got here. Absolutely. Beautiful. We want to come back there. I need to go sell some stuff, and I need to buy some uh, ammo as well. Did you just give me a hickey? Maybe I'll join. We do like roughing people up. Hi, y'all! Name Snappin' Jimmy Bob. Yes, we know. Uh, let's. let's trade. I will sell my junk. And we need to buy some ammo. So we have 1,411. Let's buy 60, 50. Excellent. 97, 54 shotguns. We can use some shock, shotgun shells. Let's buy, let's buy 30 of them. This is going to be my 306. There we go. Let's buy 40. Buy, let's see, no rockets or anything. This is going to be my turret. I have two right now. Let's buy two poker chips. <laughs> yeah, we got Snickers and everything. Chips Ahoy. This is pretty sweet. It's a barrel. It's for weapon modding. All right, let's sell some stuff here. Let's 
keep that. I don't have a brawler. We'll get around to that. Alright, for now, I think we're good. Okay, let's see what we got here. <laughs> I wish it would say how much I have of ammo for each one, you know? That would be nice. Alright, let's get her all looking diddly daddly here. <laughs> I love it. This is going to be first aid. This is my first aid gal right here. Well, I already have one for first aid there. That's the rabbit's foot. Well, let's do it anyways. All right, Boomer, we are going to give you the turrets. And we don't want to give you any grenade. So let's do flamethrower. I haven't come across a flamethrower yet. So that's a med kit. Boomer's got some med kits. Give you some grenades. Give you a grenade. Armor mod for the chest piece. I think that's pretty good. I need to start using these more. Let's give her a cigar. All right, I like it. I wonder if I could do uh, dual wheeling pistols. I don't know. Okay, I kind of like what I saw here. Now, we do have a mission to go to the apartments. Don't you be my neighbor. All right, Rosie Wong, the manager of the Sans Luke Apartments in downtown Colorado Springs, calls us with a noise complaint. One of her tenants is making a terrible ruckus. She suspects he's building bombs in his apartments, and she wants us to check it out. So we need to meet Rose Wong at the apartments, and the reward is 150 bucks. So it's going to be this way. If I remember right, it's going to be right there. There we go. Yeah? This is the Sans Lutz apartments? Who's there? The bomb squad. The Desert Rangers to see Miss Wong. What? You're here? I don't believe it. Come in. Come in. Yes? The San Luke's apartments provide the finest budget accommodations in Colorado Springs. Well, judging by this picture I'm looking at, um, they may be accommodating, but I wouldn't say um, they're the finest. Well, it is a budget place, I guess. <laughs> All right, Rosie Wong is waiting for you when you enter, smoking a cigarette. She smiles when she sees you. Her teeth are the color of caramel corn. Lovely. I can't believe you came. Those goddamn marshals never come. They think I'm a pest. <laughs> I'm vigilant, is what I am. V I G I L. She takes a deep drag. A N T. <laughs> Anyhow, I hope you're ready for trouble, Rangers, because I got a situation here. Okay. Oh, come on, Rosie. I always came when you called, didn't I? You're with the Rangers now, Quan? Well, you were one of the better ones. I'm glad you're out of that martial racket. All right. What seems to be the trouble? The guy in room three, Irv. He's not supposed to have anybody else living there, but I hear voices in there all the time. They're always banging on stuff, and I can smell burning and bleach, and I don't know what else. Make him stop it or throw him out. Either one is fine with me. Come. Okay. Have you looked inside the room? I can't. The shifty bastard's put his own locks on the door. That's how I know he's up to no good. Apartment room three. End of the long hallway. The door's on the right. I know he's up to something. I well, thank you, Rosie. It. Okay, Rosie. We got it. Got a drug stash. We got a tape two, a bunch of smokes. All right, Marshals, listen up. If you won't take my noise complaint seriously and do your damn job, then I guess I'll just have to do it for you. There's been strange noises coming out of apartment three all week. People yelling and stomping around at all hours, and strange mechanical sounds. He could be making bombs for all I know. You say 
where you need evidence. Well, Herb just left, so I'm going in and get that. Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's Rosie Bond, the landlady. I was just checking to make sure you were okay. Why wouldn't I be okay? Oh, well, you know the noise. Get the fuck out of my apartment. <laughs> Guy doesn't have anything around here to steal, anyways. What do we got here? This is. Ooh, I can pick it. Range. How am I out of range? Who the hell is this guy? This is Satoshi. Meet space demons intercepted. Display rendered objects and assigned to translation vectors. The suited figure peers at you, unblinking, and proffers a simple metal case. He seems to want you to take it. What are you offering us? Redundant variable detection grid populated by live stream data. Okay. Alert. Do not delete local references to object. If memory allocation is null, then unhandled exception occurs. It appears he's telling us not to open the case, to open or discard the case, or you'll face some kind of consequence. He turns back to his terminals and seems to forget you're in the room. No. All of these computers appear to be networked together. They are running completely unrecognizable streams of code. Interesting. Got a booze box. We got some whoop ass. Like some melee damage. I don't have a melee character. I might need to make one. That's gonna be everything in this room. Got a junk pile. Ooh, all sorts of stuff. Purified tar. What is this? Meat pie. How to make pie from scratch. Cookbook? Cool. All right, we can't repair that toaster. Got a container there. I saw some teeth in there, a little lovely. Oh no! Lock pebble, lock, um, lock pick level five. I don't have that shit. All right, what is this, brain prey? That's with SMG. Enemies have 25% less benefit from cover when attacking them. Hmm. Let's get the health. Alright, so I have armor and health now for uh, myself, MJ. We'll do that. Do some nerd stuff. And... Yeah, we'll do that. Darn it. I, uh, there's my lock picking. I'm one short and I just spent her skill point on, um, mechanics or something. Gosh, darn it. Well, at least we're still positive with everyone. Well, we're gonna have to come back to this. There's nothing we can do. Gosh, darn it. Susie, we shall return. Oh, let's talk to her. What's the matter? Why haven't you gone in yet? Are you chickens like them, marshals? Kick down that door! Can I kick it down? I can see my own self. What's going on in there? Well, I'm gonna have to come back, I guess. What's the matter? Why haven't you got kicked down that door? All right, we'll have to come back. All right, so like in the beginning of the video, we were going to um, go talk to the Rangers, or excuse me, the Marshals, it looks like. So like I said in the last video, uh, we kind of went against Daisy, uh, what she wanted us to do, and we took out that Marshal leader, so 
They didn't seem to really notice or say anything when they were going to let us in. So let's go see what they're talking about. Gosh darn it. I should have spent that uh, that skill point on the lock picking. Oh well. Come in Team November. Ranger HQ here. A squad of BAMPs rolled up to Ranger HQ. Rough mercenary types. Their leader goes by Gary Wolf. Claims to be an ex-ranger. Says he has news for you about your old enemy. Seems like the cutthroat take no prisoner type. Over. Yeah, what are BAMFS? Bad ass motherfuckers. motherfuckers. <laughs> Copy that. Old enemy? No idea. Your guess is as good as mine. Are they causing any problems? That's a negative. Some hurt feelings and broken pottery, maybe. But they appear to be friendlies. Okay. Alright, copy that, Ranger Headquarters. We'll check it out. We'll be here. Over and out. Alright. I think it was down here. Shoot out in Little Vegas. Off duty Marshal slain. Yep, this is it. Let's see what's going on here. Alright, sure you don't want to travel to Oh, Broadmire Heights. That was the mission. I, I Googled this from what I understand. This is going to be It's level five. Gideon Race, the head of one of the hundred families has offered his services as an advisor. We help him with a problem that he says affects the future of Colorado Springs. From what I saw on Google, he gives us the mechanic we need. So absolutely, let's do it. So from what I understand, the mechanic is the last person we need um, back at our headquarters. The hundred families are Colorado's richest and most powerful citizens. And after this, I want to go back to headquarters. We haven't been there in a while. So much to do in this game. I'm not complaining, it's pretty awesome. Ooh. Don't give me an excuse. Actually, do. Okay, so come to the right side of the tracks. One of those windows or something? The windows are thick and double pane. No expense was spared to keep out the cold. How weather we're having. Just like always. Ooh, what do we got here? That's just a resident. What is that? It's a chicken. Looks like there's gonna be some power in there. That right, requires power. Fair enough. I wish they'd get a younger preacher to come and give sermons. What's you this? Just want eye candy. Guilty. Oh, there's the power. Cyborg chicken. Sleek, sleekly muscular, more raptor than foul. This cybernetically enhanced chicken cuts an unusual menacing figure. It paces and prowls, clearly displeased at your presence. Cold glare. Well, when we are not at four. Uh, goodbye. Silent, unblinking scrutiny. Weird. Got any goodies in here for me? Yes, you do. Hell yeah. Negotiated settlement. This is a skill book. Permanently increases. What did I say? Permanently increases kiss ass by one. Sweet. Got another assault rifle. That's a gutter snake. Sounds lovely. These are just residents. Who's this right here? In every deluge, the righteous was spared by God. The final deluge will be no different. This is a place of respite. Right, these people are Get just. In front. I I can't see the preacher. These people and are just worshiping. The oh, there's Gideon. 
This man looks like he might have been drawn by a mathematician, precision cut luxury, and manicured good looks. Ah, uh, you're the Rangers, yes? I'm most pleased to see you. I'm Gideon Reyes. Uncle Gideon, you heard about my family? I did, Sobrina, and I'm so sorry. You know you always have a place in my house for as long as you need. I know, and I am grateful. But I have a place with these rangers now. We mean to see justice done for my family. Is that so, rangers? That's right, your niece is deputized ranger now. She was always an impressive girl. My sister would be proud of her. Now, I expect you're here about my call. There is a situation in Colorado Springs that requires a delicate touch. But first, you need to know the truth about this city. Okay. Colorado Springs isn't as prosperous as it pretends. We can barely feed our existing population. And now, smugglers are bringing refugees into the city every day. If we had enough food to support them, we would welcome them. But we don't. I've asked the Patriarch to chase off these smugglers, but he says the crisis with the Dorseys and his children have left the marshals spread too thin. Hmm. It seems he'd rather just have Sheriff Daisy keep putting refugees in the pillories, rather than stopping the tide at its source. It's infuriating. And that is why I've called you. Okay. And where are they coming from? The plains, mostly. After the Patriarch defeated the Eastern gangs, people started settling out there, thinking it was safe. Now the gangs have returned, and all the homesteaders are fleeing back to Colorado Springs. Alright, if the Patriarch doesn't care about these smugglers, we'd be doing this on our own time. Will you pay? Oh, of course. And not just in money. I do a lot of business with the local Arapaho Garage, and I can get them to provide you with mechanics to service your vehicle. They always have the best, and I'll pay for everything. There you go, that's what I was talking about. So we'll get the mechanic plus a hundred bucks and a monocle, whatever that is. All right, okay, we'll look into this for you. Thank you. I'm told the smugglers are operating out of the bazaar, a trader's market east of Colorado Springs. East of Colorado Springs. When you find them, well, do what you can. Convince them to take the refugees elsewhere. Convince them to stop entirely. Arrest them. I just want this problem to go away. Thank you for agreeing to help. You are doing Colorado Springs a great service. Goodbye, and good luck. Mrs. Putnam is still looking for her cat. Small tabby, very affectionate, answers to the name. All right, well, let's head out. All right, let's check the map. He said east. So this is going to be north up here, I'm guessing. Western Estate. Church of Final Deluge. Patriarch's Palace. There we go. East. So we need to go... East of Colorado Springs, is that right? Trouble Bazaar confront the human smugglers. We're looking for Bazaar. So this would be... East would be back where we came from. We'll see if we can go anywhere down here. No? Hmm. Well, let's get out of here. Come on, guys.
Colorado Springs usually gets its oil from the Gippers, the cult that controls most of the state's fuel production. Unfortunately, because of recent hostilities, the Gippers stopped oil deliveries to the city. So the Gippers, we haven't uh, ran into yet. We haven't encountered them, but I remember him telling uh, the Patriarch telling us about that. So traveling to Bazaar, we might have to get to the Kodiak. That would be our vehicle. <clears throat> Ranger headquarters, machine shop. Little Vegas, Garden of the Gods. So we're just going, what's this? There's the Kodiak. Hmm. She said east. Well, let's go to Ranger headquarters. So we just got to go straight ahead. Do it. Angela Death was assigned by General Vargas to lead the Ranger Advance Team into Colorado. Gosh, I haven't been back to uh, the headquarters since um I found it, I guess. So now our jail is going to be have someone there watching it. We're going to have our armory. We definitely got to check that stuff out. We'll uh, talk to the Patriarch as well. Alright, Ranger Headquarters. Managing your squad. Now that you've got a full squad, you might want to kick someone out to make room for fresh blood. Talk to Sergeant Gretzky to manage your squad and recruit new Rangers. We got the war room, mess hall, there's the garage, that's to Colorado. Yeah, let's go to the garage. I haven't, I haven't looked at that place yet. Stay sharp. Don't worry about not arresting Brago. We can pick him up anytime we need to. Copy that. Guessing it's gonna be tough getting that Valor kid out of Denver in one piece. It's gotta be done. Are they container? Oh no, it's a uh, back of a truck. Oh, hell yeah. Moment of ooze. Basically just junk and scrap. Had a weapon modification there. The terminal is displaying information about the basis systems. All seems normal right now. All service elevator. We have a service elevator? Request issued. Please wait. A loud grinding emanates from the huge trap door near the garage's entrance. The smell of rusted metal sparkling, sparking fills the room. Mechanical failure reported. A servitor drone has been issued a repair order. Okay. Another tape. Tired of gridlock? Sick of dodging reckless drivers? Fed up with paying a fortune to shady mechanics that never actually fix your car? Consolidated Atomics has the answer. Introducing Hermes, the revolutionary vehicle AI that's an expert driver, navigator, and auto mechanic all in one. Hermes remembers your daily commute, gathering up to the minute traffic reports to plot the quickest route to your destination. The AI also takes care of basic maintenance, keeping your vehicle I can't shut that guy up, I think. All right, anyways, we unlock the armory. You can come here to shop for new weapons or armor at a discounted rate. Kit today. Consolidated Atomics, 21st century solutions for the problems of today. 
pretty cool. We got the, um, all the good guys. Look, they even got their lighting from, uh, Vegas. This terminal is displaying information about the basic systems. That's the same thing there. Ooh, we'll take that. Hey, I'm Joey Bag of Donuts. <laughs> Bag of Donuts. <laughs> Mr. Brigo sent me down, you know, as thanks for helping him out with his, uh, trouble. He winks. Apparently, I'm supposed to be your new armory guy. That's good. You know, I know my way around this stuff. That's good. Let's see what he's got in stock. Let me show you. All right, we get the um 10% discount. Hell yes. Let's buy 30. Energy cells. Got armor, guns, all this good stuff. Let's buy some uh, Molotovs. Let's buy four. What's this? A smoke grenade? An EMP grenade? That'd be nice. But we need four nerd stuff for it. Some automatic pistol, submachine gun. Fires three automatic weapons. This is four small arms of the Rattler. Need strength to carry that big stuff. And sell junk. Junk is sold. Boomer, how you doing? He needs a hat. Critical hit chance and armor. There you go, buddy. Alright, she's doing good. Alright, Colt. I'd like to shotgun on Colt. Excellent, what is this? Tactical grip weapon mod. Anything for him? Daisy, looking good. I really want to get rid of any of my squad. I kind of like everyone. All right, very good. All right, so that is going to be the armory. What do we got here? All right, raise your hand. This is medbay. You've unlocked the medbay. Here you can shop for medical supplies. You can also speak to the doctor to get free health care, including restoring any incapacitated squad members. Parker, you made it. Hey, Rangers. I'm here at last. And I believe her name was Amber. Maybe he'll tell, tell us more about her. Uh, it'll take a while. But I think I'll be able to make an actual surgery out of this place. Just need to call in a few favors for equipment and supplies. If you need treatment now, well, I think I'm ready for that. What do you need? Hey, what's, uh, how's that patient of yours? Fine. Everything is fine. For now. Hmm. We'll patch us up. Of course. No sense in bleeding all over the place. Have a seat. Thank you, Doc. And let's see if he has any stuff to sell us. We have I the 10% discount. Over from the garage. Not much yet, but... Let's buy some of these. Let's buy four. And we'll stick with that right now. Sell junk. I shouldn't have anything. We can also eat the food and stuff to gain health too as well. Looking pretty good. Cool. Probably get some free stuff out of here. Yeah, we'll take that. What is this? What do we got down here? Lock picking impossible. 
The door guarding this vault is enormous and uh, recessed into the walls, floors, and ceiling. It appears that it can only be opened with that numeric keypad on the wall several feet away. Enter code at random. You start pressing buttons, but you don't even know how many numbers are in the sequence. Every time you press enter, the display clears and the door shows no signs of moving. Well, I have a feeling we are going to probably get a code or something in the future. Interesting. Wonder what's going to be back down there. Alright, Doc, we'll see you around. Good luck out there. Well, thank you. Alright, that's going to be back to the garage. Can't go in through there. Catch that victory kid soon. Before we hurt somebody. I agree, we're working on it. Stay All sharp. Right. Good luck out there. Thank you, thank you. Got a proposition for you, Rangers. Oh, this is the guy he was talking about. This is Gary. Uh, an ACL wolf? Got a proposition for you, Rain. You're the CO around here? <laughs> okay. These guys are looking pretty badass. Quality setup this time. Better than back in AZ. Guess Daddy Buchanan's buying you all the good gear. And who are you? Gary Wolf, freelance security consultant and synth hunter. Got a proposition for you. All right, do talk. Yeah, what do you want? After the Rangers nuked Cochise and themselves, I figured somebody competent had to chase down its mechanical brood. So I recruited folks who'd lost family to synths, and I formed a posse. Decommissioned a dozen of the plastic punks in AZ, then heard a feud headed east and followed them here. Now I'm getting flack from that tin star twat Daisy for exchanging fire with the synth we tracked to Colorado Springs. That's where you come in. Well, Daisy doesn't like us either. Interfering bitch told the marshals to shoot us on sight if we stepped inside the city limits again, so we can't go after this October 11 synth. Was hoping you might be interested in taking care of it for us. Cash bounty for its head. 150 bucks? Well, yeah, what's so bad about the synth? Jesus, you're not one of those, are you? Fucking simps are always talking about how synths are sentient. <laughs> they have feelings. Bullshit. That's how they trick you. Synths are just top-grade robots. What makes them dangerous is that every one of them has a little piece of Cochise in their electric brain, like a virus. And if you leave them alone for too long, that virus spreads. And pretty soon we have the goddamn robot apocalypse all over again. Not on my watch. We cap them as soon as we see them. Don't give them a chance to talk. You're tell us about Cochise. Are you kidding me? Cochise is the ranger's greatest enemy. A supercomputer that almost exterminated them twice. And which built an army of synths to kill every last human on Earth. Rangers aren't training their recruits at all these days, are they? Yeah, why did Daisy ban you from hunting in Colorado Springs? We cornered Eleven downtown and tried to take it out quietly. But there was a snafu and we had to open fire. Shot up the street. Wounded some civs. Silly bitch wouldn't listen when I warned her about the synth. Acted like we were the problem and sent us packing. Fuck her. Hey now. That's my ex-boss you're talking about, Hoss. Shut up, Corn. Lucky you quit then. She's a frag candidate for sure. Yeah, we'll do this. Okay, we'll add this run runaway Sith to our list. <laughs> add it to your list? Ought to be your top priority. Whatever. We'll wait here until you bring back its head. Should still be downtown somewhere. You'll know you're near it when you start hearing weird static on your radio. Okay. Squad, at ease. Interesting. Food you're feeding us is gonna come with this. An old weather-worn pedestal. The inscription is fading and ineligible. And eligible. General William Jackson Palmer. Good luck out there. Thank you, thank you. 
Ooh, they got everything all cleaned up and looking nice. Hey, November. Got a delivery for you. You do? Glad to see you back, Rangers. Cleaned up the worst of the mess in your absence. Now, what can I help you with? Oh, you just said you had a delivery. Yeah, got any deliveries for us? Diligent Joe came by with the supplies you asked for. Should help us get on our feet. Beautiful. Happy to tell you what you need to know. Ooh, we got some more armor. Let's talk about something Happy else. Happy to. What's on your mind? Yeah, we don't need any well. Sure thing. Let's have a look. I'm really liking my squad. Juan, he says some stupid shit. Lucia's pretty weak, but we are going to help her um, with her family. There We're you good. Go. Anything else? No, I don't think so. I'll be here. Oh, there's Corporal. Gonzalez seems at home behind his radio equipment. He salutes crisply as you approach. Welcome to your communications hub, Rangers. The Patriarch was good enough to let me use my own gear, and I have my high-frequency radio equipment all set up. From here on out, I will be your voice in the wind. You can contact Ranger HQ at any time through your radio, and I'll reach out as needed. When there's a rest to be made under your authority, just radio them into me. Pleasure to serve. Nice. You installed our car AI. Are you an expert? Oh, I'm not. It just turns out artificial intelligence isn't that much different from fiddling with radios. Easy enough to install, it turned out, but I wouldn't know the first thing about it otherwise. How do you feel about being part of the Rangers? Speaking frankly, great. Protect and serve, right? Things had grown stale with the Marshals. It felt like I'd reached the end of what I could do for the people there. Proud to be a Ranger now. Good to hear. Anytime. Pretty sweet little setup here. These are going to be all private. Alright, let's go ahead and hop out of here. What do I have over here? That is the med, or the uh, med bay. Is this the guy I put in charge of the, um... That kid, Victory? Sounds like a bad apple. What do we got over here? If you look at the my map, there is a question mark. I don't know what this is. This is the brig. Okay. They're just gonna be private. This is still a mess in here. Still can't get up through there, so maybe they might clear that out in the future, but for now, no. Now let's see how these guys are doing. We're pitching in where we can. I hope we've been some help at least. Anything you need? You've had more time to explore the base than we have. Can we ask you about it? Sure. What's in the archive room? We first room? got into the base through a hole in the archive room's wall. Some critters living in there chased us around, but we managed to shut them in before anyone got seriously hurt. Those are the ones that we took out earlier. We've been trying to snare them for a while for fresh meat, but they just chew through the ropes like they're Sour Patch Kids. Very good. Careful out there. It's an uncaring world. All right. Are you sure you told Lucia I was here? She There's hope. I met the warden salutes as you approach, then gestures to the pristine brig. What do you think? 
Scrubbed up nice, huh? Yeah, got the dead body off the ground. Just wanted to let you know. There was a man locked up in here when Gretzky's crew opened up the place. Apparently, they let him go. Oh, the dude that was eating all the mushrooms. Hope that was the right thing to do. Now, what can I do for you? Or oh, the prisoners. Isaac and his friends have been no trouble. I know they acted remarkably stupid, even by the metric of hot-headed teenagers. But now, they see the error of their ways. Them being here, instead of bleeding out among the rocks at the garden, or frozen on those nightmarish pillories, is what true justice looks like, Rangers. Someday we'll be able to let them out, and they will spend the rest of their lives working to better Colorado. Sounds good to me. Good luck out there. Thank you. So that's all of them right there. What have I done? You're a worm, Isaac. I should have killed you. Hackett's people are nice enough. Alrighty, let's go to our Kodiak because we are still looking for... Uh, I think it was Bizarre. Oh, welcome guest. Don't be mad at Wolf's Hunt. He's level 6, so we'll go there. We need to upgrade my lock picking before we go. So travel to Bizarre and confront the human smugglers. Sounds good to me. He said it's east of downtown Colorado Springs. So I'm just guessing um, I have to go in my truck. I know I got some upgrades for the Kodiak as well. I want to see if we maybe have to be in them or in it to apply those. We'll check it out. The Arapaho Garage keeps the Iron Thunder delivery fleet fueled and running, but they're open to the public too. Here, we need to get to the Kodiak over here. So, gotcha. There's the static. We'll come back. That's the synth, uh, he was talking about the robot. Did Rangers seal a deal with the Vegas mob? Rigo says no comment! Maybe I'll join the Marshals. I do like rubbing people up. You can drum down a second crackpot. I'm sure they could use my help. I even got my own blackjack. Oh, did you see that? Oh, microwave doesn't work, dude. Sorry. You ever notice that the statue's eyes follow you wherever you go? Uh, nope. That's kind of crazy. We yeah. need to go this Always way. Always watching when I'm shopping. There's some faint static there as well. Got a junk pile. Ooh. Armor mod for chest armor. There's the Kodiak. Are you sure you want to travel to Colorado? Yes. Alright, by the time of the ap apocalypse, laser and energy weapons were deployed um, with many U.S. Army units, many examples survive to the present day. I had some mods for my truck. No. Those are my junk items. What am I missing? Hmm. 
Hmm, guess not. Ten what? Whoa, everything you make a melee weapon? Yep, there's some razor blades on it. Attached to your weapon. Alright, let's go to the map. The bazaar, yes, there it is. Okay, so we need to go up here and make a right. Actually, we better mark it on the map because I don't know which direction that is looking at. So, there you go. This is so freaking cool. This is Erastus Dorsey calling the Rangers. You killed my brother Jared, remember? Oh, God. And y'all ran off like cowards before I could find you. Well, now you're gonna come find me. Unless you want all of Colorado to hear me kill a bunch of innocent folk because you was too chicken to save them. I just noticed that you got Denver over there. We got the bazaar over here as well. So it's going to give us that nice little uh, uh, point of interest on the map. So very good. Got a whole family trapped in their homestead. About three generations worth. And if you don't want them to be the next to die in the day you lose your blood, you better come up north and take their place. Russ is who? No idea who you are. <laughs> real funny, Rangers. Real fucking funny. I caught one before they all got in the door. Well, how do you like their jokes? Oh, shit. The rest of them go when I get bored, Rangers. So you better hurry, because I was born restless. Heads or tails? Well, we're not heading there right now. We still need to get my full house here. Dun, 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 dun. Wolf hunt. Unwelcome guest. Man, hell of a storm. Come in November 1. Receiving an urgent distress call in your area. Patching it through. Copy that. This is Arapaho 44. We're pinned down on 25 south of Colorado Springs. Two escorts killed. And these motherfuckers are circling back. Oh, fuck! Here they come! Oh, fuck! Shit. 44! Are you there, 44? The Rangers will get somebody to your location right away. Copy? 44! Do you copy? <sighs> Lost contact. You heard them, November. And listen, this isn't just any convoy. A-44 is hauling new power armor for the Marshals. Sounds important. It is. The Patriarch will expect us to make recovering that power armor our highest priority. Get there fast, and you should be able to save that cargo. Over and out. Copy that. Okay. Travel to the Hoon homestead or the location of the Arapaho caravan. Uh-oh. Two groups of people are under threat, and you may only have time to save one of them. You can see which direction each is by looking at the indicators on the edge of your screen or by opening your map to see with M. Let's get a move on, and there's no time to waste. Well, son of a bitch. So let's turn around and go here. Probably going to be on my way to the bazaar as well. Am I going this way? According to this, it's right behind me. So we're probably going to discover right up here. But this is the way to the homestead. See, now I'm moving around, so I need to turn around. So if you look here... But now look. See, it's still showing it in the same direction. Is that marking on my map now? This is true. Oh, there it is right there. See that? Aha. Oops, sorry guys. <laughs> Alright, the caravan's gonna be up here. 
This is so freaking sweet. Oh, I can hear him. Top Hill Caravan, a wrecked caravan in the middle of the sleepy suburban street. The trucks have been shot and smashed up and looted. Let's enter the area. This is pretty cool. The Iron Thunder Arapaho are considered the best drivers and mechanics in Colorado. So it looks like we're going to discover the sleepy town here. Man, this game's just throwing all sorts of stuff at me to do. It's crazy. Pretty awesome, though. Alright, let's see what we got. Been a while since I've been in a battle. You won't get away with this! What the hell is that? They'll hire mercenaries to put you down like rabbit dogs. You pathetic shit. You think we're scared of a few mercs? I won't give you to Slave Master Archie. I'm gonna keep you for myself. You can watch me murder rangers for years. When you finally lose hope, we'll use your head as a hoodle hat. Let's get started after I take your supplies. Okay, we uh, need to cut the power to those turrets. So if you notice right here, it's going to go in there. There's going to be, if there a way around, no. We're pretty much going to have to take them head on. Okay, so let's give, uh, MJ, let's give myself a turret. Which would probably be... Where would I keep my turrets? Where the hell are all the turrets I just bought? Yep, already equipped them with everyone. Boomers got them. Oh, there's three right there. Oh, that's because he's the only one that can take him. There we go. MP grenade. Alright, guys. Let's go ahead. Excellent. Melee damage. I guess I don't have to do that every time. There we go. What else do I got here? Hit chance. And why don't you smoke that as well? Beautiful. We'll give her a grenade. And a med. Alright, guys. I think we're ready to fight. Okay, so we need to put... How do I do that? Usable in combat. Invalid combat. Oh, so I have to be in combat. Gotcha. Okay, let's just go here. Combat started. All right, my turn. Hawk. Let's put MJ right there. Good, we got one down. Thank you. 
I'm trying to figure out... Oh, I guess I can use this now. I don't know what that guy is right there. I'm out of range right now, so I want to deploy a turret. There we go. Nice. Alright, that's how we use turrets. Oh man, look at that. They can even destroy my vehicle, I guess. I can even shoot? No way! Is that out of range? Yeah, it's gonna be out of range. Executing order. Oh my god, I didn't mean to shoot. I did not mean to shoot. Keep him out of range then. Set up an attack that will trigger the enemy's next turn. Let's prepare. Alright, we need to stop her bleeding. Not have medic. By injury kit. Do I have any injury kits? Yes. Yeah, it requires one first aid. So, oh hell with it. Let's just get ready. Beautiful turret works. Oh, damn, that turret's got a lot of HP. What the hell is he shooting? Enough. Of course not. Beautiful. enough HP. He should have another turret. Of course, two mechanicals. Okay. Hmm. We'll keep him there. Oh, great. Now I'm on fire. Can't shoot those.
Not enough HP. Not enough HP. Oh no, oh no. Damn, what are those guys using? Now it's my turn. Beautiful. They're all three out. Not enough HP there. Oops, I killed Daisy. Over here, guys. Right in the frickin' head. Oh, come on. Man, I'm not going to have enough. That's going to kill them all. Oh, hell. Let's use... We need some health here. I don't have any... Don't I have some food to eat? There we go. Oh, come on. It's got a grenade, but I can't use it. Beam of destruction! God, I'm doing so bad in this fight. Good, they killed his own person. So that should be it. All we got left are just turrets. We need to turn down the power. There's the generator. Can I explode it? No. Let's see what these guys got. All right, Boomer, we got to give you some more action points use one combat not enough HP oh come on You get to cover. Gonna be 
too far ahead. the last one I gotta do. Oh, for fuck's sake, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, we need to take this guy out. Got him. Mission completed. Edger Tails. I didn't see him standing there the whole time, for God's sakes. No, we still need to take those out. Beautiful. There's uh, one left, I think. Dry train. Here to finish me off. We're here to help you. We're the Rangers, man. We received your stress call. Yep, there we go. Rangers are real. But that was a joke. To give people hope. My ribs are cracked. Our caravan's been ransacked. I'm drive train. Caravan leader. If you save my people. I'll owe ya. How can we help? Find my people. They're wounded. Scared. Definitely weren't prepared for this. Our medic. Sirens. Sirens was in my car. When those half metal pieces of shit dragged him out and now he's gone. I just hope there are others left to find. Yeah, what was your cargo? I don't know the details. Clients prefer that. But the highest value goods always go in the middle of the convoy. I'm glad the scar collectors couldn't break into it before you showed up. Poke around if you want. But you'll see what we had for the marshals when they receive it. If I can get this caravan to Colorado Springs. Are you going to be able to get this caravan moving? Going to need some time for the endorphins to wash out the pain. But yeah, get any survivors into the cab. We'll get back on the road. Arapaho HQ. We'll get someone out here to recover the deceased. Sounds good. Take care. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh, lock pedal, lock pedal, ah, lock pick level five, of course. Gosh darn it, she has no skills. Oh, you bastards. Alright, so who is my medic? First aid right there. Let's give her more armor. Yes. 
Let's bring up the first aid. Weird science and animal whisper. And first aid again. Looks good. Tribute. Strike rate. Intelligence. Yeah, let's bring up the intelligence again. Excellent. He's got some too. Get him warmer. Go mechanics and kick ass. Looks good to me. Let's go with intelligence. Looks good. Coordination, absolutely. Hmm. Look at that. Oh, look at that. It says right there, party members. Well, let's just do it anyways. Confirm. All right. She is going to be my first A gal. So let's go ahead and give her... We have injury kit. Yeah, we have the suture. So we need to stop the bleeding. Supposed to use it on yourself. Oh, I guess we don't. Injury kit, that's what we need to use. Injury kit. That's how you do it. Very cool, I like that. Kick ass. Let's go leadership again. Look at all that damage increase for all my alloys and every or my allies and everything. I like it. Armor modding, sure. Alright, let's do for intelligent. Okay, we need to go back to her. She is bleeding. Do I have any more injury kits? I do not. Alright, well, we're just gonna have to stay there until we see the dock. We can't get in there, of course. We'll take it. What's this right here? Assemble your team. What do we got here? This is shotgun. At first glance, the man looks like another corpse among many, but a sudden sharp twitch indicates his fast-fading vitality. Battered and listless, his face is covered in drying blood. There barely a hint of breath coming from his split lip. Oh, let's diagnose the man's wounds. There are signs of internal bleeding. He's in bad shape. With an injury kit and field surgery for the worst of his wounds, you should be able to be stable enough to move him to long-term care. We need an injury kit, which I don't have. Oh, leave me be. Sorry, bud. Can't help you out. Thank you. 
Wait a minute, there's something right there. Come back, come back. Nope, that's just something glowing. It's not, it's not gonna show anything over there for us to grab. Probably an invisible wall right there. Ranger HQ calling Team November, come in. Yeah, we have a lot of interested parties asking about the Arapaho caravan. Anything to report? Yeah, we tore apart the scar collectors. Hopefully that sends a message. Cargo secured and en route. Sounds brutal, November. I'm sure they're shaking in their metal appendages. RHQ out. Excellent. Okay, good. Automatically sends the cargo there. Very, very awesome. I didn't know if maybe uh, that shotgun guy, like we had to revive or party and find them and get them to take it. So, well, who knows? We still might have to find her party. I do not know. We shall see, though. Could only choose one or the other. Started. So I guess if I want to uh, fix my car, I have to go to the mechanic. So guys, we are going to go ahead and end it there. Let's quick save here. We're going to be going to the bazaar next. There's just so much going on in this game. So I learned in the last battle that I can use uh, the Kodiak, my uh, trusty uh, vehicle to battle as well. The turrets work really well. Still learning to fight though, but I think it went pretty good. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.